Hey, yo, so welcome to Maggie's World. Um, I want to talk about something. This has something to do with um, what do you do when you have drama in your life? Um, so, this is about a situation about the dramas that I've been going through for years. And um, I, I realized that I would have to keep going through the dramas of that I wouldn't have to be going through if I just learned to let things go. So, that's what I did. That's what my daughter did. So, we learned to let things go. Um, at this case and at this point, um, this particular person is so miserable, so conniving, so evil, so wicked. And... I realized God still working on me. And I realized that it's tough for me to let it go. So I washed my hands of that person and left it in God's hands. Okay? Um, I think by me doing that, I think I'm doing the right thing. Because I know I did the right thing. So to make a long story short, um yeah and basically made me feel good you know what i mean um not to worry not have to not have to worry about the drama anymore and all the, you know all the, all the other stuff that i don't have to worry about anymore so with that being said um it just made me feel so damn going good inside it really does you know it's like because well you hold on to the drama Okay, it's like the, you know, it's like it sticks with you. And I was just sitting here watching um, Pastor Justin Jackson. And he has said in a couple of his videos that, okay, if you let people or if you let negative people go, you'll feel a lot better about yourself. So what I did was the person who I was having a problem with, um, I had to let that go because as long as I was following her up, as long as I was uh, feeding into her nonsense, um, she continued to actually just like this pick, 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 pick. You know what I mean? And then I had to, then I'll be on this, on this site called Beagle. And she come on Beagle to my, um, you know, like old negativity stuff, you know what I mean? That's something I ain't got time for, okay? Um, I am pushing, mind you, I'm pushing 50. So, I'll be 50 in what, two years from now? So, why in the heck would I want actually want to basically follow somebody like, like her up? You know what I mean? So, on that note, I did was last week Tuesday, and she came on my live on Beagle, talking about, um, Stop talking about me and, and let me see my sister and this, that, the third, so and so and so. Or let me talk to my sister, this, that, so and so and so and so. Mind you, they're half sisters. Thank you very much. Um, and I said, first of all, this is my life. If I want to talk, if I want to talk about you on my life, I'm going to talk about you on my life. Period. It's not there one thing you can do or buy. If I want to talk about you, I'm going to talk about you. But at this point, I ain't got time to deal with your negativity stuff. I don't have time. You know what I mean? So she wanted to actually keep the drama going, and I am not feeding into her. Okay, well, I can't say on video. I'm not going to feed into her mess. I'm not going to do that because as long as I'm feeding into her nonsense, she's going to continue. And continue and continue with the harassment. I ain't got time for it. I'm done with the situation. Okay? She wanted to keep drama going. Me, I ain't got time. Okay? My best thing was to walk away from the situation. If that makes sense. And... I'm not going to sit around here and, you know, basically kiss her behind. 
Okay, that I'm not going to do. I believe God has basically made me disciplined. So by me being disciplined, whatever, it's brought me to with the drama. I ain't got time for it. Life is too short. Life is way too short. And why the heck on earth I want to deal with somebody, um, what the call, what's that, what's that, what's that word for it? Um, sorry, I can't get that word on my tongue. What's that word? What is that word? Um, toxic. Okay. I don't have time for toxic people. Okay. My daughter ain't got time for toxic people. But we came down to the place to where she, where this particular person was just disrespecting me. And I am my daughter's mother. And we came down to the person disrespecting me in front of her. That's why my 24 year old daughter don't want anything to do with her. Because I don't feel the same way somebody disrespecting my mother. Okay. And. When I lost my mother, she could come on Facebook to my oh, I'm sorry for your loss. You know what I told her? I said, save it. Save it for somebody who cares. But I just said, I don't care. Save your condolences. Take your condolences and shove it. That's exactly what I told her. We all need your condolences. We all need your condolences. You didn't have no respect for our mother. We don't need nothing from you. All that we want you to do is just leave us alone. That's it. And I said the same exact thing last year. Just like last year. I think I said my last video where she actually threatened my life and threatened my daughter's life. She threatened my daughter's life and my daughter basically told everybody what she caught her and her kid's father doing. So she comes on there and talking about, oh, uh, oh y'all both casket shot. Just what the heck she said. So... When it comes to situations like that, people, and you get into situations like that, whatever, it's best to let it go. Okay? Don't even feed into it. Okay? Because the more you feed into it, the more they're going to continue to being a jackrabbit that they are. Okay? So, to make a long story short, my day is going well. I can't complain. Um... I just want to come on here to share that with you guys. And as for my new camera that I got a month ago, I um, have my other camera over here, which is um, this one. I have this camera here that I think I had got about a year ago or two years ago, I think it was. I had got this one to replace the other one that, um, that had got broken. So I used this one too. So I don't use my phone no more to do my video. So what I do is that I take my cameras and I hook it up to my uh, my PC, turn it into a um, webcam, which is like webcam right now. So I don't use my phone no more because I noticed that when you do videos on your phone, it takes up a lot of space. You know what I mean? And it's like you can't do your videos as long as you want to do it. So I figure, well, maybe I give you some. Maybe I give me one of those. Uh, Cameras, which they do call these cameras YouTube cameras. Cameras, um, yeah. So I take one of my cameras and basically go on here and do videos. And I could actually do videos as long as I want. I could talk as long as I want. Um, things like that, you know. Um, I hear a lot of people say they want to see. Uh, <laughs> they want to see me do another mukbang, but they also want to see me do mukbangs with my daughter. So that could be possible. That could definitely be possible to do. Um, yeah, so with a long story short, um, yeah, me and my daughter have a very, very, very good relationship. You know, we have a very good mother and daughter relationship. And it's like we act more like sisters instead of mother and daughter. You know what I mean? That's how me and my mother was, you know? And um, when it comes to people disrespecting your family, come on. That should be personal. I don't care what it. I mean, I don't care what it is, but anytime somebody comes in your life and they decide to disrespect your family, that's where you should draw the line. That's exactly where you should draw the line, right there, because as long as you continue allowing people to disrespect your family and most of all your mother or father, that is a straight up no no. So, if people want to know why I basically don't like this person so much, 
Look at all the things she's done in the past. I still haven't forgave her for that. Because each and every time I forgave her, and why I did forgive her, she trying to do the same darn darn thing again. Okay? When I was raising my daughter, okay, the same daughter of mine that she tried to get custody of, okay, she tried everything, she tried all her might to try to get custody of my daughter, it did not work, okay, just like she messed up my life, that's probably with my, no, that's, okay, that's probably with uh, my daughter's father as opposed to her father too. And, um, yeah, so they supposed to have the same father, but different mothers. Um, her and my daughter don't look nothing alike. They don't act nothing alike. Okay? I see a lot of my daughter's father in her a lot. I see a lot of my daughter's father in her. And, uh, and actually, in my, actually, in my daughter. Uh, my daughter's half-sister don't look nothing like him. She don't act nothing like him at all. Um, I do know that, uh, this individual is an alcoholic. Okay. Uh, she just she gets a drink every chance she get, and then when she drinks or whatever, she gets stupid. So, with that being said, okay, for a person like that, and for her, and for, and for a person to be so mean and so conniving and so wicked, I don't want to be around nobody like that. I would not want my daughter around nobody like that. You know what I mean? She is so... So evil. And it's sad. You know what I mean? She don't have none of my daughter's father's ways. None of it. Uh, her father's... I mean, her, her, um, her mother's family don't want anything to do with her either. And now I see why. I see why her mother's family don't want anything to do with her. I have heard... I have, uh, no, I have heard her mother say that if she goes to a get together at the family house or whatever, they will tell her not to bring her daughter. Because she's so disrespectful. She's been like that all her life. She's been like that since she was a teenager. Now, why don't I forgive her? I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm not going to forgive her. She's done a lot of things I'm not happy about. Okay? She brainwashed my daughter when my daughter was 17. I had to send my daughter away. I had to literally send my daughter away to keep from hurting her. Okay? Then she tried to brainwash my daughter again on Beagle because she was going to tell my daughter last year that I killed their father, which is untrue. Okay? So, this is because I said, this is because I came out on Beagle and said I didn't like her. This is because I came out and said I didn't like her. Oh, all of a sudden, oh, by the way, you killed my father. This is how she brought it to me. And then she had everybody else jump down my throat. She had basically called herself trying to turn my supporters against me. Now, y'all tell me how messy that is. And y'all wonder why I cannot forgive this person? Come on. Come on, people. I can't forgive somebody that does dirt. To me and everybody else. I cannot do that. I can't. I can, but I will not. My best bet is to stay away from her. Um, keep my daughter away from her. Even though my daughter is grown, but yeah, my dad at the same time, my daughter has a disability too. But, even though... It's best for both of us to stay away from people like that. Because as Pastor Justin would say, leave it alone. Let go, let God, let God handle it. Let God handle her, handle her wicked uh, self because I don't have time. I have bigger and better things to do besides dealing with that. Okay. So that's why I came on over here and did the video for that, about that, whatever. So, this topic was supposed to be for, um, this topic was supposed to be about, uh, what you do, you have somebody on your child's side of the family who are so wicked. That is the title. Okay. Uh, so wicked and so evil. You know what I mean? 
so that's a topic. That's a, that was a topic for this video today. Um, so yeah, it's really sad how things have to go down. It's really sad how you know this world be so so full of evil people. So full of evil people it is sad. None of us cannot get along because because of the wickedness. Um, because of a lot of evil in this world. So it's sad. It's really, really sad. But when New Year's came in, when 2023 uh, came in, I promised myself that I was going to cut my daughter's, my daughter's half-sister out of my life. In my daughter's life for good. Well, I can't cut out my daughter's life. See, my daughter chose to cut her out her life. So, I don't have, mean that I have no control of that. But I did choose to cut this fool out of my life. For good. That means not talking to her. Not communicating with her. Not doing nothing with her at all. Not having anything to do with her, period. Then she calls on Beagle talking about, oh... That's my mother on camera. Me? My supporters on Beagle say, yeah. I said, no, I'm not her mother. Her mother lived in the Bronx. I'm not her mother. Oh, she said, you her stepmother. No, that never happened. That never happened. I was engaged to her father. But the engagement was off because I found out he cheated on me. I coughed the gate the engagement. On top of that, this same brat I'm talking about, um, she didn't want me and their father together. She wanted their father with her mother. When he was talking to her, I overheard about what she said. I overheard what she said out of her mouth. She didn't want her father to marry me. She wanted her father to marry her mother. Which he clearly came out and said that what her mother and him had, they had. It's over, it's done with. You can't get that back. You can't get the damn on trust back. Because once the trust is gone, it's not a damn thing you can do about it. Once the trust is gone, it's gone. There's no coming back from that. The trust I once had for her is gone. It's been gone since my daughter was a child. She called ACS on me three times. She ruined my life and ruined my chance of being a good mother because she has an attitude with me. So she feels the only way she can hurt me is getting children's services involved by trying to have my daughter take it from me three times. Then you go call my. Then she calls my mother. Don't tell my mother, and my sister. Oh, I'm gonna call to the services on um, your sister, your daughter, because uh, she don't need my sister. That's how dirty this person is. She's oof. I can't be there going to explain it. But so yeah, that's exactly how this person is. She don't care about nobody. Nobody of any kind. Now I could have went ahead and did the same thing she did when she came back to my old she had to whoop her daughter's behind for going to the store by herself without her knowledge. My thing is this, where the hell was she? How did the child get out the house? And where and why and why was she present when the child went out the house? Now I could have went ahead and called to the services on her. But I realized too, two wrongs don't make a right. So when she do stuff to me, I wash my hands of her and I just let her go to whatever that she needs to dare go and go in this world, whatever. Learn to learn to let go. Learn to let go of the drama. Learn to let go of her. So there you have it. 
So it looks like I've been on here for about at least 19 or actually 20 minutes now. And, um, yeah, so that is my story about her, you know, because here I am right now, you know, trying to put my life together and my daughter is trying to put her life together as well. And, um, uh, my daughter is in the other room because she's in her own little world right now, whatever. And, um, yeah, this a particular person, she constantly, constantly, constantly tries her best to try to turn my daughter against me. It's not the first time she did this. It's not the first time she's done this. This is not the first time. Okay? I want everybody in this world, I want everybody on YouTube to know what kind of person she is. I told my child, if she ever had a child, and her so-called half-sister found out about it, the minute she got mad with me or got mad with her, she I told my daughter, she would call to the surgeons on her. And try to get cussed at her niece and nephew. That's how wicked she is. And talking about she's married. Come find out her marriage is, is complicated. Like, come on. So at this point, me and my daughter, we sat down, we had a nice heart-to-heart -heart talk. And my daughter made a decision that she really didn't want to make. And if the decision was, she came back, she said, Mommy, I don't want anything. To, she said, I don't want anything to do with Jacqueline or the rest of that family. I said, you sure that's what you want? She said, yes, Mommy. I'm very sure what I want. That's, that's exactly what I want. I want nothing to do with that family. Because she said, like, because she said, because for them to just, you know, for them to constantly to disrespect you, she said, I don't want anything to do with them. For what? She said, why would I want anything to do with either one of them? They had no respect for you. They had no respect for me. They had no respect for my family. On your side. She said, oh, Mommy, I don't want nothing to do with them. Nothing. Nada. Period. So. Wow, I'm on here. Two, two minutes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm going to get off this thing now. Um, if you like this video, if you like the stories um, that I've been putting out, um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you on the next one. All right? Peace.